It is Tuesday. It's the 2nd of April. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Making news today. Nuclear reaction. China is calling for calm after North Korea announced plans to restart a reactor at Yongbyon nuclear complex. Beijing said it regrets Pyongyang's decision to reactivate facilities that were mothballed after international talks in 2007. The U.S. Navy is moving a warship and a sea-based radar platform closer to the North Korean coast as Pyongyang issues near daily threats against its allies. Joins us now live from CNN Seoul. Jim, what do we make of this latest? latest bang of the war drum. Well, you know, it's probably not surprising that they're going to try to reopen the Yongbyon uh, nuclear reactor. That is because it's been their policy for decades. It certainly the does. All right, Jim, thank you for that. Jim Clancy, live for us there from Seoul. Well, all this is, uh, while all this is happening, the U.S. military is repositioning some of its vessels in response to those developments on the Korean Peninsula, and that's after joint exercises. It's been staging alongside South Korean forces. Barbara Starr reports now from the Pentagon. The U.S. Navy is moving a warship closer to the North Korean coastline. Militants have destroyed a major power plant in northwest Pakistan, temporarily cutting off electricity to parts of the city of Peshawar. At least seven people were killed in an attack seen as a reminder of security failures before elections next month. No one has claimed responsibility for the assault, but the area is known to be a base for Taliban insurgents. In Myanmar, at least 13 teenagers were killed in a fire at a school in the city of Yangon. The blaze broke out around 3 in the morning at a building that housed about 70 students. The website of the Myanmar police force says the fire was caused by a short circuit in an overheated electrical inverter. Is someone other than Dr. Conrad Murray to blame for Michael Jackson's death? Well, the late singer's family thinks so. In just a few hours in Los Angeles, jury selection begins in a wrongful death suit brought against AEG Live. Police in Rio de Janeiro have now arrested two men suspected of assaulting two foreign tourists. A third suspect is still being sought. Over the weekend, an American woman was kidnapped, repeatedly raped and robbed while on a minibus. Her male companion was also robbed, and both were held captive for six hours. You're watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Juanita Rajpal. A manhunt is underway in the U.S. state of Texas after a public prosecutor and his wife were shot and killed. District Attorney Mike McClellan and his wife Cynthia were found dead in their home in Kaufman County Saturday night. Police say they have no idea who's behind the murders, but they are on high alert for any more attacks. More than 6,000 killed in one month. Syrian activists say the loss of life in their country accelerated to shocking new levels last month. That figure would make March the deadliest month in the two-year-old conflict. Activists say a third of the 6,000 people who died last month well, they were civilians. Meanwhile, the United States is winding down its military mission in Afghanistan when U.S. forces eventually leave. We'll soon find out whether local police can ensure security there. But for now, much work lies ahead, as Anna Korn reports from her embed with American Special Forces. While the landscape may be visually stunning, this is inhospitable terrain. Stand. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Champions League quarterfinals kick off later Tuesday. Can anyone stop Barcelona's quest for a third victory in five years? You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Right about now, football's governing body, FIFA, is due to announce whose goal line technology has been chosen to make football history. Well, let's take you straight now to Alex Thomas in London with more on that. Hey, Alex. Hi, Manita. Yeah, it's been one of the most controversial issues in football for years. But after decades, Manita, it's back to you. Yes, I know. There are lots of unhappy Manchester United fans yesterday <laughs> as a result of that. Alex, thank you very much for that. Now, the cold and snowy conditions persist into April across much of Europe. Meteorologist Mari Ramos is at the World Weather Center with those details. Hey, Mari. Hey, Moni. That seems like the same old story. When is this, January or April, really? You know what? The temperatures really do look like uh, January for much of the region. And uh, back to you. <laughs> Mari, thank you very much for that. 
You are watching CNN News Center. I'm Juanita Rajpal, live at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. Stick around, though. We'll update the news headlines in just a couple of minutes. This is the number one international news brand. This is CNN.